Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will discuss about a common issue occurs when you apply for an AdSense account. Like if you have a YouTube channel and you are eligible for YouTube partner program or YouTube monetization or if you have a website and you wish to apply for Google AdSense then as per Google AdSense policy one account is allowed per person. Now we have a YouTube channel which is eligible for YouTube partner program by completing the 1000 subscribers and a watch time of 4000 hours. And after this you will receive an email to apply for YouTube partner program. Now by visiting monetization tab of YouTube studio you will apply for YouTube partner program. After clicking on apply three steps will appear where step one is review the partner program terms and condition. And if you are willing to part of this you will have to agree these conditions. Second step is to set up Google AdSense account. If you have a previous AdSense account, then you can simply link that account by using publisher ID. Or if you don't have an AdSense account, then you will apply for a new one. Sometimes this happens that Google has many products. Either using any one of them, you get access to AdSense account and you are unaware of this. Or either in past you have an AdSense account which is totally out of your mind. Google AdSense will say that AdSense allows one account for one person. Now either you can continue with your existing account which is associated with email or you can close the previous account and continue with the new one. Now if you search on internet you will find various solutions which are first of all you can report to AdSense or you can link your YouTube channel or website with an AdSense account which is associated to any of your family member. If your family member don't have an AdSense account then you can create a new account for them. If you already have an AdSense account you can use the existing AdSense account or if you wish to create a new AdSense account then you have to close the old one. Some blogs or videos suggest that you can close your Google payment profile and make a fresh apply for Google AdSense account. Or if you have an AdSense account but you don't remember the associated email address, then you can use the recover email address option. And the few words of that email address will be given in the email received from Google AdSense. Now if you can't recognize the associated email address with your name and you do your best to recover the associated email address, if you recover that email address that is fine but if you failed then follow the following procedure. Now we will open the email received from Google AdSense and if you already have an AdSense account and you wishes to create a new account then you have to close the old profile by following step 2. But if you do your best to recover the email address but you couldn't recover then follow step 1 and click on login troubleshooter. This page will help you in accessing your Google AdSense account and before starting you should follow the following step indicated in step 1, step 2 and step 3. And at every step you should choose the answer which describes your situation most accurately. And then follow the instructions of this page. At first sign out of any Google account. Secondly clear your browser cache. And at last enable cookies and SSL 2.0. Now you have to choose an option which describes your situation at best. First is I have forgot my password or email address. You can try to recover your email address. I see an error message that says looks like this Google account isn't associated with an AdSense account. Third one is I recently deleted my Google account. My account has been compromised and I believe someone else is using my account. And last is I use a Google account through my work, school or other group. Now you have done your best to recover the email address associated with Google account but you failed so you will choose the option my account has been compromised and I believe that someone else is using my account. 
now after this you will get two options first one is if you are unable to access your adsense account because your google account has been compromised you have to visit the given page and follow the instruction and provide the details and accurate information of each question and if your account can't be recovered then you can contact them and we will work to regain your access to google account now here we will use the first option and will visit the page a page will open which will title as my account was compromised and you will enter required information in the given field like first of all you will enter your full name your contact email address your google publisher id you will have this id in email from google adsense then you will have to provide id proof then you have to choose the date when did you first notice an issue with your account you will describe your issue and then you will choose about any missing payments then have you noticed any recent changes in your account setting then you have to choose have you noticed any new unauthorized user in your google adsense account and then you will submit the form here important thing to note is about your id proof and for more information related to id proof you have to click on the link that what type of id proof Google AdSense accepts. Google AdSense accepts official document as a proof of identity. And the acceptable form of IDs are first one is government issue ID card. And this card must display your name and the mailing address. And the mailing address must be same as appear in your Google AdSense account. Now, if you use passport as a government issue ID, that won't be acceptable because some countries passport don't have exact mailing address so either you will use identity card which have proper address or you can use bank statement telephone bill or rent documents and if your postal address in your account is different from the address displayed on your id card and your id doesn't work to provide about your mailing address you can also confirm your address by the bank statement, telephone bill or rent agreement and these documents must have your name and the postal address which appears in your Google AdSense account. After fulfilling all the requirements, you must submit the form and you will receive a confirmation email. And following these steps, hopefully you will recover your Google AdSense account. And here you will get two important notification. First one is about the tax information, which we will discuss in detail in next video. And second one is that Google AdSense no longer show YouTube metrics. So you have to use Google Analytics. And if you visit monetization tab of YouTube studio, step two will be done and your channel will be in step three, which is getting reviewed. YouTube will review your channel and will inform you about the result and after reviewing you will get an email that your channel has been approved thanks for watching the video this was all about today and stay connected for more updates